So you know you have the power to change the things in your life that you don't like or that no longer serve you. You do know that, right? <music> You do know that you are a creator and you create your reality. Tell me, chosen ones, tell me that you do know this, right? You know that you can be, you can do, and you can have everything that you desire. You know this, right? Well, if you don't know this, I'm here to tell you this. You are creating your, your world and your reality every second of every moment of every day. So if you look out and there's something in your life or some things in your life that you don't like, guess what? You need to change it. So how do you change it? Well, you have to change your thought process. You have to change the words that you tell yourself. You have to change your energy. You have to, you have to change the way you see yourself. And you see your life. You have to see what you want to see and not what you don't want to see. So many times we are so caught up in the things that we don't want. We don't want this. I don't want that. I don't like this. I don't like that. You know, we talk about ourselves in negative ways. Oh, I'm so dumb. I'm so stupid. Why did I do this? Why did I do that? Let me tell you something. Every time you speak negatively, God is listening. God is listening. So what you want to be mindful of and conscious of and aware of are the words that you are speaking out. Because words are life. Every time you speak, you are giving birth to something. Because again, you are a creator. You're creating with your words. You're creating with your thoughts. You're creating with your actions. You're creating with your emotions. You're creating. So you have to start becoming aware and being intentional about what you say, about what you feel, about what you think. Because every time you put those things out there, thoughts are vibrations, emotions are vibrations, words are vibrations. So everything you're putting out there, everything is energy. And God is listening. God is listening to your thoughts. God is listening to your words. So what are you putting out there? What you're seeing right now in your reality, that's what you put out there some time ago. That's what you put out there. Whatever you don't like right now that you're looking out and seeing where you live or who you're dating or who you're married to or your job, whatever. You put that out there. And you have to take accountability for that. Because sometimes we go through life without making any type of intentional action. So since you've come on this video, make sure you subscribe, by the way, if you're liking the content, subscribe to this channel, like this video, share it, and comment down below. Let me know and ring that notification bell so you'll be notified when I upload a new video. But everything that you say, you are creating. You are the master of your world. You are the creator. And so it doesn't say like, you know, right now you just say, oh, you know, I want my life to be better. I want my life to look like this. And then poof, it's going to happen. No, it doesn't happen like that. It's going to take some time. Why? Because we live in a 3D world, right? Actually, we were sent into the 5D, but that's a whole nother video. But we live in a world that is 3D. And our thoughts and our emotions and our words are 5D. So when we speak and when we think, it has to catch up in this reality. Because the reality that we see is slower than what our minds like. That's why we can think of something right now, right? We can feel something right now. But right now, it's not going to appear before us. It's going to appear later. So that's why you have to start practicing, practicing these principles, practicing these habits of speaking your life 
into existence. Speaking what you want into existence. Speaking what you want to do into existence. Speaking who you want to become. Speak that into existence. Speak what you want to have. Speak it into existence. Because your reality will have no choice but to reflect those things. So let me just give you an example. Let's say you're in a bad relationship, right? And you're like, oh, I don't, you know, I don't want to be in this relationship. Maybe it's abusive or whatever. And you're like crying and you're just like, you know, I want out. I want to be out of this relationship. I don't know how I got in this relationship. I don't like this person, yada, yada, yada. And you just keep saying this every day, but you don't leave yet. But you keep saying this stuff, right? Maybe you're arguing with the person, Maybe they're arguing back with you. So it's like, you know, but you got all of this emotion, all of these thoughts, all of these, you know, all of these words coming out, going out into the ethers, into the universe. You're putting all this out there. And then that day comes. It may be a month from that day that you said all these things or, you know, it could have been over time, but it's eventually going to come that day that you get a chance to be away from this person. The breakup happens, right? You've been wanting it. You've been asking for it. You've been talking about it. You've been thinking about it. You've been crying about it. And that day comes. But it's up to you at that point that it comes. Are you going to say, oh no, but I love this person and go back? Or are you going to say, you know what? This is what I asked for. This is what I prayed for. This is what I wanted. I'm going to take this breakup. I'm going to go work on myself. And I'm going to become the best version of myself. At that moment, that's when you have seen the results of your thoughts, of your words, of your actions, of your emotions. It didn't happen right then and there when you was going through it, but it happened. And I'm sure some of you can relate. I know I can. <laughs> it's kind of a story of my life. Been there, done that. And when it came to that point where I'm like, wow, oh my gosh, this finally happened. I am away from this person. What was it left for me to do? I could have, you know, of course I took it and ran. I left, never looked back. But what did you do? if you were in that situation, or what will you do? If it's something similar or a different situation, will you be ready? But you have to know what you want. You have to know what you want. You just can't go through life willy nilly and expecting, you know, diamonds to fall from the sky. If you want diamonds, you gotta ask for diamonds. You gotta pray for diamonds. You gotta put that emotions of diamonds out there. You gotta see the diamonds. But you have to know what you want. And just realize that you're creating every second. So make sure that your days count. Make sure that your thoughts count. Make sure that your words count. Make sure that your emotions count. Make, every, make sure that everything you do counts because you're creating your future. You're creating it. You're creating it. So be intentional about who you are, who you want to be because you will step into that arena. But the question is, will you be ready? All right, my friends, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, click that notification bell, subscribe and you know, leave me a comment down below and I'll see you guys in the very next video. Until then, take care.